delicious. Hi guys, welcome back to Tankery Tuesday. It is World Cocktail Day and today I am making an orange blossom based with tankery gin. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, but importantly, join me next Tuesday. Let's get into it. Let's get into Tankery Tuesdays, grab your bottle of gin and let's make some cocktails. Today I'm going to be making something a little tropical if you've not already got the vibes that I'm going for today. All you're going to need for this cocktail is some tankery gin, you're going to need an orange or two actually for that, you're going to need some ice cubes, um, you're going to need a shaker and some honey and that's it guys. In case you don't have some of these things, just stay tuned, keep watching this video and maybe you'll find that you have some stuff at home that you can use in replacement for what you're lacking. Okay guys, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with cutting my oranges in half. Great. So once you've cut your oranges in half, grab your cocktail shaker. But if you don't have a cocktail shaker, just start off with making your ingredients in a glass, a really big glass. So I'm going to grab my first orange and just squeeze all of it. I usually use the side. Squeeze as much as you can. We're going to be squeezing one and a half oranges into a glass or into your cocktail shaker, depending on what you have at home. Ooh, use all your strength. I just can smell all the lovely citrusy scents just pouring into this glass. Ooh. Perfect time actually to be drinking citrus drinks, whether they're alcoholic based or not. So I'll start off with first squeezing it on the side of the glass. Oh, and then down the middle. You can see the orange oil is just fizzing out of this peel right here. Okay. So next on the agenda is now you just grab your tankery gin, pour in about two shot sizes of that. Bearing in mind guys, I'm clearly an amateur mixologist. Seen as I don't have some measurements to give you, but these are pretty generous shots I must say. So I'm just pouring two shots of that in there. The second one wasn't as full as the first one. And then I'm going to grab some of my honey and put two tablespoons of this into my drink. So if anyone's like me and doesn't have a cocktail shaker, I've decided to use one of my Miniso water bottles, which works just as well, guys. At the end of the day, we're just mixing drinks, throwing in some ice in there. And now I'm just going to tip that into my water bottle. Make sure everything falls in. Okay. Fasten the lid on. And now I'm going to shake. Woo! Okay, so my bottle is pretty chilled right now. Now, one of the mistakes I've already made is I did not chill my glass in the beginning, so I'm going to chill it right now and take a little interval. So while this sits for just a couple of minutes, I'm just going to clean up what's in front of me right now. Okay, now we can get straight back into it, so I'm just going to top my ice cubes. Oh, my glass is perfectly chilled, I'm going to top my ice cubes back into the bowl. And now that I have this, I'm going to grab my little mini sieve or strainer. Open up my bottle. And I'm gonna just top the ingredients in. This looks okay. So there we have it. And there you have it guys, a delicious orange blossom. I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to give you guys an honest review. 
This is so delicious. I can taste the citrusy flavors in there. I'm gonna give it one more. Mmm. I can taste a dash of that honey as well. This drink is amazing. So there you have it guys, Tanqueray Tuesday, I brought to you an orange blossom cocktail. Hopefully you can join me next week, get your Tanqueray ready and let's make some cocktails.